Hey everybody, Noah here for Adafruit. I just wanted to give you guys an update on some new filament that I've been testing. So I got myself a spool of this new highly flexible nylon filament called PCTPE. And it's by the guys at Tallman3D.com. I've tried printing nylon before and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, check out Tom's video on some of the struggles of printing with nylon and why it's worth it. I think it's a really cool uh, material, but um, for the most part it requires a heated bed. Um, luckily though, we carry the Orion Delta 3D printer in the Adafruit shop, and it does have a heated bed. Um, Bowden systems don't work too well with TPE type material, specifically like NinjaFlex, but it prints really good with this flexible uh, nylon. So I thought I'd print my Raspberry Pi 8 Plus case, and it's really flexible. It is extremely flexible. I was surprised it's not brittle and it doesn't snap. Though it's not really elastic, um, but it still holds its shape when you, uh, when you bend it far enough, it, it goes back into its shape. The tolerances came out pretty spot on. There wasn't much shrinkage. I printed at 230C with a 60C bed. I printed pretty slow. Uh, 30 to 40, and it's pretty much the same slice settings um, that I use for PLA. Uh, the retraction distance was set to six millimeters with a speed of 110. This is, of course, a boated system, so you're gonna have a lot of retraction and speedness. I did manage to get warping problems, um, even with glue stick on my painter's tape. That might just be because my cheapskate isn't leveled, um, but I did get warped corners. Even though with the warped corners, uh, the tolerances came out pretty good, the mounting holes and the standoffs, everything lined up perfectly. Um, I keep seeing that it has ABS-like characteristics. I didn't see much other than the warping and that it's hard to stick to the bed. Um, but bridges seem to print pretty well, unlike ABS. The longest bridge is like eight millimeters and it, it seemed to print pretty well. It feels a lot like a milk jug. If you've ever touched a milk jug, it feels soft and it feels, it, this is, it feels like this stuff. So this is really great if you're looking to print nylon uh, easily that's very flexible. You're gonna get really strong, flexible parts, though there's no elasticity, like I was saying before, and it prints really nice with the Orion Delta style printer. So let us know if we should carry flexible nylon in the Adafruit shop, and let me know in the comments below what else I should print in nylon flexible filament. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos and subscribing, it means a lot to us. We'll see you guys next year, really next week, with more videos, and have a happy holiday, guys. I'll see you next week.